Welcome to the second video in our series, Protect Your Equity. If you haven't watched the first video, please take the time and review it above before continuing to get a better understanding on how distributors are contractually compensated and how the association believes that Pepperidge Farm is in breach of contract. This video, Tracking Loss Commission, is made for the independent Pepperidge Farm snack distributor. You will learn how to download the necessary tracking form and spreadsheet from our website, as well as filling them out. This video was made for the novice computer user and those not experienced in downloading or using spreadsheets. If you are a savvy computer user, please download the files to your computer and start right away. The instructions are straightforward. Just remember to download and to save. Before we get started, there is a little housekeeping that we need to do on your computer. We need to create a folder to hold all the files in an easy place to access. Don't worry, this will be painless. I am on a PC and we're going to go over and click on the folders. And what we're going to concentrate on is this PC. So left click on that. If I left click again a little bit over, it brings up everything on the side. We're going to create a new folder in our documents. So we're going to press documents with the left mouse pad and then go ahead and right click and we're going to scroll down to new and click on folder. Now we're just going to name our folder Walmart 2017 snacks. Easy as that. From there, we're going to go to the website. Okay, we're here at the website www.teampoaa.org. There may be a pop-up screen. When you're done with the pop-up screen, just go ahead and click on the X at the top to close it out. And then you can start scrolling down. You can even join here today. Here is the video that I mentioned earlier, Protect Your Equity. You can actually view it right from our website. Uh, there may be another video right above this download as we are populating with more videos on a weekly basis. But what we want to concentrate on is right over here, uh, the Walmart spreadsheet and the Walmart tracking form. Let's do the spreadsheet first. You will left click on the spreadsheet. And as you can see, a new window opened up. And here is our new spreadsheet. But what we want to do is not fill it out here. We actually want to download it. So when we press download, here is the location that the PC wants to put it in the download section. We want to change that though. We want to go back and click on the documents. Let's go ahead and uh, click on Walmart 2017. And then click save. Easy as that. Now we can go up and close this out. And now we can grab the tracking form. Okay, here is the tracking form. Just going to go over it real quick after we download it. To download it, we're just going to press on the down arrow. Now what is a little bit different this time is our computer already knows where we want to store it, which is in the inside the Walmart folder. If this did not show up, again, you would just click on Documents, then go down to the Walmart Snack folder, and then press Save. And that is it. And actually, we are done with the Internet right now, so we can just go ahead and close all this out. And we can open up our folder. So the tracking form. The tracking form is set up with five columns depending upon how many Walmarts you have. This should suffice. If you only have one, you can actually use this uh, form uh, for a total of 10 weeks, which will make things a lot easier. But once you start to uh, fill out the form, let me show you what it would look like. In this example here, there are uh, two Walmarts, store 4120 and 4150. Each time a delivery was made, the distributor went ahead and copied down how many units were being delivered of the 30 ounce. 
And what this distributor did is they did one for week ending 715, one for week ending 722, and all of these would be at the reduced price of 508, not the 666. Now, if you want, what you could also do as well is take, if you only have two stores, you could do two over here, then two over here. Same thing down on the bottom, so you get a total of four weeks. Just trying to make it as easy as possible to go ahead and keep track of everything. So let's go ahead and open up our spreadsheet. When we open up our spreadsheet, it defaults to the pallet payment, but we want to go over to the master. Now what we want to do is go ahead and go up to the top here and click Enable Editing. From here, I'm just going to change store one and store two to the actual store numbers. And then as per our sheet, we can go ahead and start inputting. So we can see in week number one, between 66 units and 108 units, the commission lost was $54.98. Week number two was 108 units and 24 units. That takes it up to 96.70. Again, this is very much straightforward. It, it, if you don't have five Walmarts, you don't need to worry about these other columns. Down at the second section here, starting off at row 32, you can actually see on a week by week how much commission was lost. Now down here, the next tab, pallet payments. Certain Walmarts will be receiving pallets from corporate. When you go ahead and receive payment, what you want to do is record that as well. So let's say on A12, a store gets a pallet that's 168 units. We just put it in there. And if this store got a pallet that was 96 units, same thing. The nice thing now is when we go back to the master, we scroll on up to the top. It has our commission loss from this uh, spreadsheet, but then also the commission loss from the pallet spreadsheet. Then lastly, on this side, we have the invoice. Now, if you plan on taking this to the next level, which we will discuss at our next video, you're probably going to want to record the data. So in here, you would just go ahead and st start filling this out with all the store in information, the invoice number, and how many units. Or if this one here was the pallet payment, Pallet payment, 14, settlement statement. Now for the most important part. When, when you go back, you need to go up on top here and click save. Now this saves everything. So the next time that we, we come in next week, the only thing we need to do now is just open this up and we will see that everything was saved. Easy as that. This concludes this portion of this video. Look forward to next week when we will have yet another video, this one documenting your losses. Please share this message with others. Thank you.